Hey there, it's Eric. I'm going to give you a little tour of a grid-connected, battery-based solar electric system. I'm trying out this new camera. All uh, right, so this is a Outback Power Flex Power One pre-wired system center, what I call a nexus here. It's got an inverter charger right there. That's a grid interactive battery-based inverter from Outback Power. That is the PV charge controller, FlexMax 80, 80 amps at 24 volts. That's what the system is. It's got the mate system controller there with the green screen. It's got a hub there to uh, network all of this electronics together so they can all talk to each other. It's got the FlexNet DC there with the four LEDs um, kind of right in the middle. And uh, we've got some nice placards that are required by code here to uh, outline the different parameters of the system, uh, array voltages and currents that should be expected to be seen as required by the National Electric Code. Um, so the Flex Power has circuit breaker boxes that attach directly to the inverter. This one up the top is the AC box, so it's got AC input and output circuit breakers. It has a bypass breaker arrangement here, so if something were to go wrong with the inverter, uh, that bypass could be flipped and that would mechanically send the power from the AC input directly to the loads, um, bypassing around the inverter. So that's if something were to go wrong and you needed to pull the inverter out of the system you could flip that and continue to run the loads as usual without having to rewire or anything. Um, then down here is the DC side. There's a main inverter disconnect, there's a ground fault protection breaker and PV array disconnect breaker down on the DC side. It's a relatively small battery. This is a two sealed 8D style batteries. They're roughly 250 amp hours each, 12 volts. They're wired in series for 250 amp hours at 24 volts system capacity. Um, and those are in a nice battery box with the plexiglass cover, really very cool. It's got two inch conduit that brings that battery cable up here through this connector into the DC side of the Flex Power One. Uh, we have two AC panels over here. This is the main panel for this building which provides the AC input into the inverter charger and then the AC output goes over here to the backup load panel. We just have two circuits in here which are being supplied inverter power off of the inverter. Now this system is grid interactive and so if the solar array is producing more current than the loads are consuming and the batteries are fully charged, it can sell power to the utility in which case it pushes current back out to this panel. Basically back out on the wires that are the AC input wire to the inverter, but what that does is it just energizes the main panel and that current will flow to any loads that are connected in that panel or if there's still available current it'll flow off to the main panel in the house this is actually a sub panel and uh, if there is still more PV generation than there is load, it will send it out through the meter to the utility in a grid connected fashion, grid interactive net metering type of arrangement would be what you'd have there. But um, there you have it.